Hello everyone and welcome to this little video on analyzing trade relationships. Now here we've got a typical AP uh, graph depicting two countries um, that can benefit from trade with each other. We've got Equatoria and Catonia. They can produce cotton or wheat. Now we see here that um, one of these countries, Equatoria, has an absolute advantage in both cotton and wheat because if Equatoria directs all of its land, labor, and capital into the production of cotton, it can produce more cotton, it can produce 10,000 kilograms, and that is more than the 8,000 kilograms that Catonia can produce. Now, if both these countries directed all of their land, labor, and capital into the production of wheat, Equatoria again can produce more wheat than Catonia can. So, can Equatoria benefit from trade with uh, Catonia? Yes, it can. Because the advantage of trade is actually dependent on comparative advantage, not absolute advantage. And comparative advantage is all about analyzing a country's opportunity costs. In other words, what does it give up when it produces a unit of something? And so if one country has a higher opportunity cost than another uh, in the production of something, then it might be able to benefit from trading with a country that has a lower opportunity cost in producing that product. So let's take a look at the opportunity costs here. What we're going to want uh, to do uh, at this point is we want to convert these different these numbers to very simple numbers. We want to convert, let's say, units of cotton into one, the number one. And we want to see for every one unit of cotton, how many units of wheat do we give up? So uh, let's convert this 10 into one by dividing it by itself, divided by 10, and we'll get one. And then we'll divide this number by whatever we had to divide this number by. So in that case, that would be 10. So let's, let's try that. We'll divide it by 10. We get 1, 1 to 1. We've got a 1 to 1 ratio. For every 1 uh, unit of cotton we produce in Equatoria, we give up 1 unit of wheat. All right, well, let's, let's take a look at the relationship between cotton and wheat in Catonia. Let's divide this 8 by 8 to convert it into 1, and then we'll divide 4 by 8, and we'll see what we get. Well, in that case, we'll get 1 to a half. So we've got a 1 to a 0.5 ratio here. So in other words, for every one unit of cotton we produce, we only give up a half of a unit of wheat in Catonia. So we can see that Catonia actually has a much lower opportunity cost for producing cotton than Equatoria does. Equatoria gives up a lot of wheat when it produces a unit of cotton, much more wheat than Catonia gives up. So these two countries can benefit from trade because Catonia has a comparative advantage in cotton and Equatoria has a comparative advantage in wheat. All right, so the final question would be, what would be a good term of trade? What would be good terms of trade for these two countries? How much cotton should they trade for how much wheat? Well, the trick of figuring that out is to look at the two opportunity costs here. So right now we're looking at opportunity costs of producing cotton. And those opportunity costs are measured in terms of wheat, the wheat that is given up when we produce a unit of cotton. So the secret to finding terms of trade is to look at these opportunity costs and come up with a number in between them. So a number between one and a half is 0.75. And so that, in this case, would be good terms of trade for these two countries. Trading one unit of cotton for 0.75 units of wheat will actually allow both countries to benefit from trade and to actually produce more or enjoy more cotton and wheat than they could possibly produce on their own. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.